All right, I came across this video from my good old BFF, Weaver B. The video is called Music Production YouTubers Are Frauds. I've already watched some of this. Uh, it's been out for like over a month, but people were like talking about it on Twitter. I've like skimmed through it, but I, I like had so much to say when I watched it, or so many thoughts, I should say. But I'm gonna watch it, react to it. Here we go. Don't worry, none of these people are holding me at gunpoint to make this video. This is actually a video I wanted to make for a while. And then I saw Andrew Huang do a video sort of talking about this. So I felt like my hand was forced in this case here. Damn you, Andrew. Weaver Beats has made a shit ton of videos <laughs> just hating on Drip and saying why it sucks and stuff. The copyright strike that he got by accident. He is a fan, he's a good dude. He's just helping build the producer community, whether he hates me or not. Today we'll be talking about music producers that do YouTube. Why do so many of them not have music? Or why do they have music and it has no plays? This is not meant to be something to rag on anyone or to, to like make them look bad. I'm more so trying to illustrate a point. If anything, I'm gonna be kind of defending them a bit. So just hear me out a bit here. So Busy Work Beats, we all know him. He's got a ton of subscribers, right? 31 monthly listeners. And Spotify monthly listeners obviously don't mean everything because if you look his YouTube page, the songs have more plays. Still not a lot, but there's definitely a lot more. Okay, then we got DJ Av McCree here. Feel bad because I, I like these guys. I like, I really do like these guys. I feel bad. Venus Theory, only 2,600. Simon the Magpie, only 1,300. Ed Talenti, zero. Alex Rome, 230. All right, I'm gonna stop right here for a second. I'm sure this is not Ed Talenti's like, has he dropped a song ever? Godbeats Collective, 400K monthly listeners. One of the fastest climbing Spotify channels from, you know, from zero to 400K. We're probably in the top one percentile of Spotify growth just from the videos and TikTok and just like all the great music and great content we've been making through it. I own all the music in Godbeats Collective. It's like, dude, we, d we still haven't gotten paid for any of it. It's been like three months. They pay you out three months late. And that's owning all the songs, doing really, really well, and putting it all out, and getting millions and millions and millions of eyes on it. I've put so much money into it. It's like if I had to rely on that, if this wasn't something that I'm doing just because we're at a different level now and I can do something like this for fun and not have to worry about recouping money right away, like the money in the music industry is like a long term. It's almost like real estate, dude. How do you make the most money in real estate? you have the most real estate. You have thousands and thousands of units. How do you get thousands and thousands of units? Just years and years of grinding. You're not gonna buy a freaking duplex and start making tons of money. On the flip side, there's so many other ways nowadays of being a YouTube producer to make money. Like right away, I tweeted something the other day, you can have 10,000 subscribers and make a living as a music producer. It's kind of insane. You can get a couple brand deals, drop a loop kit, put out your distro kid tag and make some money on that. You can sell beats. Like there's so many different ways uh, to make money. You don't have to worry about building up a catalog. If you're getting attention, why put it towards music where you don't really even make money at the start? That, that alone, not even talking about like if the music is good or not. Let's keep going. Zero. Alex Rome, 233. Nick Mira, 193. All these people obviously have way more YouTube subscribers than they have monthly listeners on Spotify. And Nick Mira makes a shit ton of money. He just doesn't put out songs or anything. Trying to make right now. Are you just trying to make these people look bad? No. I actually think there's a reason for this. Now, the first reason, people like Nick Mira and Ed Talenti, they seem to only produce for other people, meaning they produce for artists that do vocals usually and because of that the monthly listeners don't show up directly on their page it only does that when the artist adds them as a artist on the track so if you're a producer you're not always featured in the artist section in this case it seems like never and then now for the other people the people that do tutorials i actually have a few theories as to why they don't have monthly listeners and it's not because they're frauds they're not frauds okay i don't think any of these guys are frauds i actually like all of their content to be honest i think busy work beats has great videos for beginners and he has a huge abundance of them are some of them misses yes are some of them absolutely on point also yes ave mccree does a great job as a critical reviewer sort of like what i do he has a very high level of attention to detail in my opinion. Simon the Magpie makes some very interesting music devices. Or There's also like so many different, like I haven't even heard of these dudes. Like this guy does not make, is he out here making trap beats in FL Studio? There's so many different like busy work beats kind of just only does tutorials. I'm out here just making beats and making songs. Like, even like Simon, that's Simon Servita is the most comparable channel, channel to mine, FL Studio making beats, like his way of doing it is so much different. He has all these different 
musical skills and does like crazy 808 things. I'm just making like hypey little trap beats and telling stories about it. It's such a mess right now because five years ago this shit, this niche didn't really exist. It's like the beginning of the gaming niche. There's so many different ways of doing it. Some in interesting ways. Venus Theory provides a lot of valuable plugins and music theory information on its channel, etc. You guys get my point here. It takes a lot of time to do YouTube. Like you basically have to upload every few days or every day. Some people do like once a week, but usually those are like much more highly produced processed videos and because of that like maybe they don't have the time or energy to finish their tracks and to upload them uh, i've actually been experiencing that ever since i've been focusing more on youtube some of you may say hey don't some of them have editors or why don't they have editors music production is actually a much smaller field on youtube than you think it is or it's a lot harder to retain the level of viewership that would warrant getting an editor like i wouldn't be surprised if busy work beats edits his own shit yeah it's it's funny because like dude the top freaking people in this niche don't even have a million <laughs> subscribers like look at any other niche the gardening niche the dude that just fixes cars has like million he has like 10 million subscribers this is still a very small niche at the same time even though it's such a popular thing the youtube niche and community is still relatively small i don't i don't know if he does or doesn't but i wouldn't be surprised if he does just because like the views on my shit or his shit or some other people's shit i don't think you could pay for an editor and there are some people that are the exceptions to that i think andrew gets a lot of views uh kyle beats gets a lot of views they usually are focused on more like broad things though not as technically produced things also it's uh, insane that busy work beats has 3900 videos that's a lot of videos now does it mean that these people aren't credible because uh they don't have music on their pages or if they do it doesn't have a lot of listeners first off the amount of listeners you have is not indicative of the quality of the music you can actually make good quality music and not get listens on it views is basically just the amount of people that have saw or heard something it doesn't even represent how many people like something i think when it comes down to that it comes down to the amount of time you're willing to direct towards this thing plus like talent look at someone like fucking aries dude aries isn't even in this niche anymore apparently <laughs> like aries was like, fucking in the music producer niche he happened to make really good music and he went all in on it at the right time a couple of them were a little early on ones back in like 2017 didn't really strike but once he put out sayonara race car and then dropped the album did the tours now he's like a legit artists killing it on Spotify doing pretty much pretty much world tours selling merch whatever he's you know doing he can do whatever and has an artist he produces all of his own stuff so that's an exception right there so it's pretty much the two factors are like if you're being successful on YouTube and you have an audience do you have the talent for it whatever genre you are in are you willing to to, to go in on it it's a risky thing you get millions and millions and millions of views I fucking do the drip plugin when you get millions of views on a product and sell it or millions of views on a drum kit it, you're making millions of dollars whereas if you do that on on songs you don't really see that money you're really just committing to like you're committing to the long game wanting to be an artist or wanting to just put out music and inspire people and that's what it comes down to so that's one thing to remember for sure and this also doesn't mean that they're not credible either if you're teaching good information it kind of doesn't matter if you have music to back it up or not unless like the information you're teaching is regarding the music that you've made that has done well or something of the sort unless you're like preaching some sort of marketing strategy involving getting your music out there on Spotify for instance and then you didn't have monthly listeners on Spotify that I think that would maybe be like okay maybe you seem like you're lacking some credibility there but in terms of like how to make a certain type of beat versus how many monthly listeners you have on Spotify I think those two are not really correlated it's also like music producers like we're all fucking music producers how are you gonna get monthly listeners Eldre Illusion they both were at at one point over a, a million monthly listeners that's lo-fi beat I know Chris Ponsalon's killing it too I forget what he has Chucky Beats collabs with artists he's doing really well with like 300,000 monthly listeners it's a tricky concept I have dropped my own songs that I do vocals on on my own Spotify and I also do the Cobbies collective thing obviously which we've been doing a lot of lately there's so many different fucking decisions that you can make as a as a producer like it's like there's so many different options and I think if I was gonna give advice people just have to go with what they're naturally good at Calvi's Collective was never in the plans. It was just, it just came so fucking natural. I was like, I'm so good at putting together songs and putting them out. It makes such great content. I was like, I have to fucking do this. And that's why I started even doing that. I think Simon's fucking course is fantastic for him. Me personally, I don't think of doing a paid course because it just doesn't come natural for me. I want to put out plugins, drip, 
spaz. That's what like fulfills me more so than like a course. But it's it's funny because he's so right though about from the outside looking in, these people are just making content about music and then selling like drum kits or courses or whatever. It's like they're are they actually musicians? People are just going to what th they're naturally good at, and then like you know the people that do end up making it in the music industry, a lot of times stop stop fucking uploading YouTube videos. So. What do you want? <laughs> Great video though, shout out to Weaver Beats. Goodbye.